Shalom Chamrim. It's nice to get a chance to speak with you guys. Uh, I've actually been battling a pretty good sinus situation over here, so it's a little difficult. Don't sound quite normal. I feel like I'm talking out of my ears or something, something a little odd. Anyway, uh, early this morning I woke up, and most of you guys would know I don't dream a lot. Uh, I've only, I think I've only told one dream that I've had in the last couple of years. But I had a very unusual dream uh, early this morning. And when I woke up, I woke up from the dream, and so I, I, I made some notations down about it. And, of course, you guys know I'm, I'm not one for to major on dreams, but I thought it was interesting. And I felt like maybe it would be something good just to make a record of it. Uh, in the event that there is something prophetic to it. So I wanted to share that with you. I was in the United States, and when I was in the United States, suddenly there were everyday people that were your neighbors that were commanded to quickly move to different parts of the regions of the United States. The people were just everyday people. They were people like you and me, neighbors that uh, you would never expect to, to be any different than you or yourself. But these neighbors had learned things about you. And, um, and what happened was they were moving. And I noticed uh, when I was trying to find out what was going on, because I knew one of them. Uh, now, I don't know the person in reality, but in the dream, it was like I knew this person, and finally I had one reveal a little bit to me, saying that I cannot tell you what this is about. It's top secret, but the thing is, is we must relocate to different regions of the United States for what's next, what is about to happen next. And, uh, and I noticed in their packing, they were carrying two handguns, every one of them, and I don't really know what the significance of that would be, but they were. And... Um, once they were all repositioned, this all happened in just a matter of days. Everything had to happen in a matter of days. Then the people were called before these different groups. You were called, church leaders were called, business owners were called. And they would ask you, they would look at you and they would say to you, your papers are not in order, your NWO papers are not in order. And they kept repeating the NWO, the NWO. And of course, when I woke up from the dream, I realized the NWO is the New World Order. And when your papers were not in order, they sent, there was, a, there was a command given and there were soldiers sent to your home and everything that you had was confiscated by the state. They took everything. And I kept hearing this over and over and over and I kept seeing family after family affected. But the ironic thing was though, the big churches and the big leaders and the big businesses, it was as if they already knew this was going to happen. And all of them had their papers in order. Another interesting thing was, and I didn't know why I knew this, but I knew that the United States was destined for a major financial collapse is part of this, and this is one of the reasons why this papers of your NWO had to be gotten in order. The other thing that come to me when I was watching all the events unfold in this dream was the fact that even preppers had not anticipated the way things would go down. I noticed that people were afraid and frightened, and it was like it was a panic. You had such a short period of time to totally get away from civilization if you were to exist at all. And I, I, I was just, I was really mesmerized by the total unpreparedness of the people. And like I said, even for the preppers that did not know how to handle this situation. Um, I remember thinking in the dream, I've got to get back to Israel. And then I thought, well, even if I get back to Israel, will I need to prep there? I didn't see anything going on in Israel regarding this, but I only could think of, I've got to get back home. I don't know what any of this means, but I do know it, it was definitely real. Of course, as many of us that, that, that do have dreams, they, they always seem very real. Is it a warning of something that's about to come? I, I can't honestly say, I just don't know. Uh, we do know though that there is a new world order 
uh, that's coming. And that's not something that I'm big in talking about, uh, so it's not like something that's in my subconscious, uh, especially the, the NWO expression. Uh, I couldn't help but think of, though, in Nazi Germany, and also, and there's other third world countries today where if you get pulled over, say, in Africa or something, they will ask you the question, you know, we need to see your papers. We have to have your documents. And things have to be in order. And if they're not in order, well, it can bring some major repercussions upon you. So I just figured I'd share that with you guys because we're certainly living in a time of uncertainty. Baruch Hashem, and God bless you. And by the way, um, tomorrow is, we actually have what we call a, um, a Moshiach meal. This is something that was started by the rabbis many years ago, but it's basically a communion service. Uh, thought you might want to know that. Look it up on the internet. The Messiah's meal. It is an Orthodox tradition, and it is held on the last day of Passover. God bless you. Until we meet again.